Hi, I'm Mrs. Booth, and this is my daughter, Rachel. And we are here today to demonstrate how to argue so that you can argue to learn. Now, when you're arguing, um, what each person does is they have a position, and you respectfully agree and disagree using facts to support your position. Now, the goal here is to convince the other person that your position is the correct position. Um, sometimes you just can't convince them that it is, and that's okay. At least uh, you can convince them to look at a different perspective and consider it. Okay, so Rachel, um, I recently read an article that said dogs make the better pet. And I got to tell you, I totally disagree with that because I think cats rule. Cats are definitely better pets than dogs. Well, can you dig deeper? Can you tell me why cats rule? Well, you know, first I want to say, well, that's just how I feel. I think that. But I guess when I dig deep, um, I have to say that, you know, cats, uh, you can have a cat. Uh, you love that cat. They love you. But at the same time... You have your own life. Uh, they are not totally dependent on you. They're rather independent. So your whole life doesn't have to revolve around what your cat needs. I actually disagree with you. I think that dogs are the better pet. Can you give me some facts about that to support your position? Sure. Um, you don't like to have a dependent animal so dogs actually you can let them out in your backyard to run around if you don't want to go take them on a walk but if you do want to take them on the walk there's an advantage for you there as well while you're walking you can get your exercise and exercise makes you healthier and happier so what i hear you saying is that you can just open your door and let your dog out keep in mind though that you have to buy a fence because you can't just let your dog run wild. I could let my cat out and they can walk around and through people's gardens and, and you don't need a fence. So the cost is much lower. Yes, um, that's true, but there are also small things you could consider like putting them on a leash so they're and tied to something. So they don't go outside of your yard. So, they... Okay, so I hear you saying that you can tie your dog up outside. Um, and for a cat, I think uh, you wouldn't even need to do that. If you want to let your cat out, uh, you just open the door. And, and they go out and do their thing. They're entertained. I don't have to take them for a walk. I don't have to go out into my backyard and pick up their business either. Um, but I keep my cats indoors because that's, that's much, much safer for them, especially here in Florida. Um, so I don't need to take my cats outside for walks. I can be healthy on my own terms and I'm not forced to go outside to walk my dog in thunderstorms or 30 degree weather. I understand what you're saying. But I do think still that dogs are the better choice. They, in a way, can get you more friends because you go outside with them. And they're also, they cost less, I think, because you don't have to be buying extra toys and a litter box and litter. You just need to get their food and a leash. And they have a tail to entertain themselves with. I do understand. I hear what you're saying. There are um, there are definitely costs involved with having a cat, um, but if you think about it and you add up these costs, dogs do go to the vet more often, and then you have to take them to the groomers. Cats groom themselves. That's very true. I, so, I see what you're saying there. So have I convinced you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm close. I can tell. So I hope that uh, you've been... Um, catching the drift of how we are respectfully arguing. We're not agreeing with each other right now, but um, I think I'm on my way to getting her to agree. <laughs> uh, and maybe not, but. <laughs> <laughs>
But we really do uh, look forward to hearing how you, um, after you learn to argue, will argue to learn. Good night.